Hey Aquarius, welcome to your June 2019 General Horoscope Psychic Reading. Aquarius, I'm so excited to talk to you guys. Like just talking to the fixed signs this month is just bringing me home <laughs> and I love it. Absolutely adore it. So it's been an interesting time, interesting time of evolvement and change, especially in a lot of ways for you. Aquarius, your planet has been moving around a lot in the sky right now. So I'm very interested to share, uh, to hear you guys share what has been going on in your life. Leave a comment below, share with me and your fellow Aquarians. Um, but before I get started, we're going to dive into your tarot messages here, but I want to let you know some goodies. Um, first, if you haven't yet, Aquarius, please do hit the subscribe button here on my page. Subscribe to my channel and stay up to date with the videos and the articles that I have being published. So keep up to date with that. Also, I am giving all of you loyal subscribers a 15% off code that you can use for a personal reading. And you can access that below in the descriptions box, of course. One last thing, Aquarius, um, I do, I am doing a couple of free giveaways this month. So I'm giving away a couple of my starlight meditation rituals. So check that out. They'll be below information in the descriptions box, comments, all that jazz. All right. So let's go ahead and get diving in here. Um, I'm going to do five shuffles and then we're going to go ahead and just pull your cards. Okay. I've already been meditating. So Aquarius, astrologically, this is affecting your fifth house, that place in your chart that has to do with romance, romantic affairs, blossoming romance, being enhanced, your creativity, big creative insights at this time. I feel like we should do one more shuffle here. Okay. Also, this house affects children. Also, how you play, how you're having fun, Aquarius. Are you giving yourself enough play time? Now's the month to do it. Allow more of that for yourself. All right, my goodness. I like what I'm seeing here for the most part. Yeah, all right. All the cards out. Ooh, Ten of Cups at the bottom of the deck, Aquarius. Okay, wow. It's interesting. I did the Leo reading um, before doing you, Aquarius, and especially for you, Aquarius, risings. This, um, this is interesting. This correlates very well in a lot of ways with the Leo reading. So you might check that out, um, especially if you're interested in or seeing a Leo. So just take a couple of deep breaths with me here, Aquarius. Get into that mind frame of receiving here. And I'm going to look at your cards. Okay, right off the bat here, I'm hearing for you, Aquarius, just something for you to be aware of, that you do have some spiritual, karmetic sort of debt coming up here, especially in the way of your finances, or very specifically for some of you, Aquarians, this has to do with your partner, your partner's finances, or perhaps if you're divorced or if you've been with someone in the past, this could be bringing up something with that past partnership and the area of finances. So pay attention to what evolves there. I'm getting here that with the five of pentacles here, there's a challenge here for you to kind of bring yourself, snap yourself out of 
this mindset of lack when it comes to your finances to when it comes to making more money or rather maybe a fear and worry a fear of an Ill inability to make more money but you're being asked to push through that mind frame that sort of challenge that is maybe suppressing you a little bit perhaps you're just feeling a little alone with your problem but you know it's really amazing for you Aquarius to see the wheel of fortune at the center of your reading mm. because this means you have favor this month like seriously and with your fifth house being activated up oh, this is awesome you have favor this month seriously now before we talk about more of those goodies uh we do need to address what's going on down here with um your inner world seven of cups okay seven of cups well There's a little bit of overwhelm I'm getting here for you Aquarians. Little bit of overwhelm and making a decision. I'm feeling like this kind of back and forth of, you know, if I make this decision, is it going to, you know, which decision is going to benefit me the most? What's going to give me back the biggest investment it's going to be the biggest return on investment that's what you're asking yourself here whether it be business related or even just personally with someone with a relationship and it is wise for you to ask yourself that i'm getting here too that your dreams are you really being invited to look at your dreams because those contain some symbolism and confirmation that would give you some peace of mind Aquarius so think about looking at your dream symbolism or seeking seeking some intuitive help from you know it could be from a tarot therapist, from an astrologer, from someone who practices, you know, the arts with the occult and stuff, who can help you bring out what these messages are to get you that confirmation of direction. Help you interpret what is going on in your subconscious mind that's going to be really helpful for you because there's a lot going on there but i'm getting here that you're wanting to narrow your focus in on something and i'm getting you know at that gemini new moon which is happening on the third of the month it's going to be really good for you I feel like this Ace of Swords energy is coming up right at the beginning of the month for you. Really where you're you're getting some confirmation. As long as you as long as you seek it, as long as you grab the hilt of the sword, Aquarius, you can't just expect it to just come to you. As long as you grab hold of the sword here, things will be communicated. That clarity will be gained. That focus will be sharpened. A mind that is free from anxiety because it's getting a solution. It's getting an answer here. Now, you are being invited, I'm getting here, to hold steady with some of your plans this month with the Nine of Wands showing up. This message of hold steady. You may feel a little burnt out about it. A little distressed maybe even. 
but you're being invited to be strong, stand firm, and keep up with it. Keep that energy burning. Keep that passion burning for it, Aquarius. Keep your plans aflame, alight. Because it is, the persistence is going to pay off. You have the uh, Six of Cups showing up next, which is quite interesting. This is where it really correlates well with the Leo reading, Aquarius, where they got the Two of Cups. And then you have this here. So soulmate energy. A lot of you are connecting with a Leo, but it could just be another sign where someone is really coming in here and wanting to give you some support, some affection. Affection, romance is wanting to come in. For some of you, this is a past friendship that is evolving or past ex relationship that is coming back in here trying to woo and seduce you. Perhaps you're thinking about giving it another shot. These are very karmatic past influences coming in here. And this could be you just clicking with someone so well, Aquarius, that it feels like y'all have known each other before, perhaps from another life. So that's beautiful. And I'm getting that this Six of Cups person can really help enlighten you when it comes to the Seven of Cups here and helping you focus in on that uh, solution that you're needing. Trying to figure out that symbolism for a lot of you within your dreams. They're helping with that. They can help give you the solution. So that's beautiful. And then your power is showing up here this month with the Knight of Pentacles. Okay, so the Knight of Pentacles here. Hmm. Interesting. I'm hearing the words patience and receive for you, Aquarius. For those of you who might be waiting on some extra money to come in for a better financial opportunity to come in where there's been anxiety and frustration about finances, especially. And your security there, okay. Well, come the Sagittarius full moon, especially on the 17th, you can see a bit more results. And you're being asked to receive. If you're constantly fighting and fighting and, you know, trying to constantly looking for solutions and giving yourself too many options here, giving yourself too many options, you're kind of distracting yourself from just being in receptive mode whenever that person or that opportunity comes in to give you what you're seeking. So just don't have, you know, allow yourself to slow down a little bit and be in receptive mode so that you're not overly distracted and you miss that. That's what you're being advised here. And then beautiful, ooh, others surrounding you, the sun, Leo energy, here it is popping up again. Someone's coming in to give you an uplift, to invigorate your energy. Perhaps you're simply finding that within yourself, Aquarius. You're tapping into that energy where you can, you're allowing yourself, I'm, I'm getting, a, here's how you can really utilize the sun, Aquarius. You can use it by tapping into that 
creative energy within yourself, that energy that allows you to play, giving yourself a night off, a day off, do something that is just fun, that excites you. Go bowling, go to a museum, go to the park, you know, go out in nature, whatever it is that is fun for you. Go do some laser tag, you name it. Do something that lightens your energy, lightens the mood. And try to do it with this person or whoever it is that you perhaps are really drawn to and want to connect with. Extend the invitation. Have some fun. It's going to do you so much good. It's going to help change the aura around you, Aquarius. Mm. Yes, yes, yes. Have fun. Have fun, have fun, have fun. I love this. <laughs> I'm a Leo, so um, this is really interesting. Um, King of Wands showing up for you next, Aquarius. Another Leo energy. And look at the lions and stuff there. Okay, so... <laughs> If you've been hoping that something will work out with a Leo, with a fire sign, it looks really, it looks really strong. The connection, the bond, looks, it looks really strong. It's, he's not unwavering, he's not fleeting like knights can be, because knights come and go, you know, they, they seek adventure, they seek trivial things, right? The King of Wands is there to stay. So there's someone here for you, Aquarius, that is, is, is here to stay, that wants to stay. I love it. I love it. Also, those of you who have struggled to ask for more, perhaps from your job. Those of you who've just been, you know, maybe just a little too afraid to make some requests, make some big requests from an employer, from your clients even, if you're self-employed, from someone in the community. You are being empowered to do so with this energy this month. You have the energy, the strength, the light surrounding you to do so. I love it. I love it. Now you're ending here with the Eight of Cups, which is interesting. Okay, we are approaching Cancer season at the end of the month, around the 21st. Okay, the 21st, yeah. So around that time, after the full moon, get into cancer season, you might find yourself just needing to rest a little bit more is what I'm hearing and getting with this card. Allow yourself to just rest, relax a bit more. You know, that could mean doing simple tasks such as meditating, going out, by yourself, you know, get, allowing yourself some solitude in nature, um, having a night in at home, making a date with yourself, cooking a nice meal for yourself, you know, just kind of giving yourself a little bit more time to do nothing, Aquarius. So approaching cancer season, that's, that's really what you're being invited to do here rejuvenate and spend some of that time with this person who seems to be popping up quite a bit. Hmm? It'll be fabulous. I'm going to go ahead and get with the Ten of Cups being on the bottom of the deck, I really don't know if I need to get clarity with this actually. <laughs> You're being invited to share your space, especially towards the end of the month. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And your creative energy, man, it is at an all-time high. You can place your creative energy 
into whatever it is you desire this month, Aquarius, and see it really produce some awesome results. Wheel of Fortune. Mm, I love it. The only challenge, you know, I'm seeing for you guys is just is just this and interpreting some of this. I think maybe some of you Aquarians have just been overwhelming yourself with too many options or allowing too many worries to just come in. And so the key really this month to allowing those things uh, allowing those things to let go, to completely let go of the worry, all that bullshit, <laughs> is to have fun. Do this. Do this. Play. Have fun. All right, Aquarius, that concludes your June reading. I'll be interested to know. Let me know. Share a comment with me and your fellow air signs uh, how this is translating for you. And what's cooking? I'd love to hear about it. And don't forget, your 15% off code for all of you loyal subscribers and stuff is below in the descriptions box. Don't forget your free gifts. And Aquarius, I will see you in the next video. Take care.